shy? Because I promise, all the kids here are really nice. You can just go right up to them, and they'll invite you to play. Man, it doesn't matter if you're... A cars, right? Well, I got a cars adventure that will really get you ribbon. Come on. It does not matter how far away you are from these NPCs. They will run across the entire world to come up to you and say, Hey, did you know you can talk to people and make friends and go visit the levels? Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you know? I bet you didn't know that. It's annoying. Anyway. Hello and welcome back to some more Rush, a Disney Pixar adventure where last time we played through the Upworld, which is fun and all. And today we're going to be heading into Radiator Springs for our, or at least why I assume to be Radiator Springs, because that's the... That's the famous, famous icon of Radiator Springs that you can take a look at and, and say, yep, that's, that's Radiator Springs, all right, as, as indicated by the RS letters right there. And I don't know what to expect here, because for the other two worlds we've explored so far, we were in our human form doing platforming. But according to the intro or tutorial thing, we're going to be a car here, which makes sense. It's cars, so. And I was just thinking about this. If they ever bring a Cars world to Kingdom Hearts in Kingdom Hearts 4, oh boy, I, I cannot wait to see what Sora, Donald, and Goofy look like as Cars. That's gonna be great. But who knows what what the future holds for that. For now, we're just gonna mess around in the Cars world in this game. Any chance want to play Cars, would you? Well, you sure came to the right playground. I'm Shelby. And I'm crazy about cars. I love playing Mater. <laughs> he cracks me up. Hey, what if we're at Willie's Butte in Radiator Springs and Lightning McQueen is looking for a new car in his racing team? That's you. But first, you gotta try out. So you're gonna have to pass the Tow Mater Fancy Driving Challenge. Oh, that looks hideous. Car specialist, so it's only the bestest drivers in the whole world. And I've got complete confidence in Mater. If he says you're good enough, that's good enough for me. Oh, it ain't what I says. It's what the Toe Mater Fancy Driving Challenge says. Did the kid... Oh my god, okay, that's not... I, I expected... Oh, I don't like that I can do that. That's... What you doing, napping? Wake up! You gotta drive, buddy! So, did, did the kid indicate towards the big mountain saying that was Willie's Butte, because that's not Willie's Butte. Willie's Butte is that one turn that, um, that McQueen raced Doc, it was, it was where McQueen and Doc first raced, where McQueen went plummeting into the cactus pit and made her had to fish him out, and that, it's the one, it's the same loop that's featured in the Radio Springs Grand Prix in Cars 2, the ending of Cars 3, the training montage at the beginning of Cars 3, just, and the, and the epilogue of the first Cars movie, because that's just, that w Willie's Butte here, you know, let's go this way. Why not? Also, the hand did you turn a lot more sharply than I expected you to? It's not, it's not exactly a subtle adjustment. If you if you hold left with the stick, you're gonna turn a mighty ways away. So that's interesting. Anyway, yeah, that's I just, just wanted, to wanted to correct the record, set the record straight that that is very much not Willie's Butte. Ah, uh, yes, racing the police officer. I'm sure this is a great idea. I'm not missing any special things, right? Like, I, I, all, the only controls I've been given are, are is right trigger to accelerate. So I, I think I'm going as fast as I possibly can. At least I hope I'm going as fast as I possibly can. Who knows? I will say, I, I compliment the varied gameplay. It's not... Because you have you have the platform... Well, I say varied gameplay. It's, I, I say that, but then I'm, I'm probably going to immediately retract it because... It, it may very well end up being the case that it's only, it, it's only the Cars universe that's different from the others, because obviously in the Cars universe you have to be a car, so it necessitates driving for the challenges. So, I was, I was going to say it's, it's neat that each world has its own unique gameplay style, but I don't know how true that statement's going to end up being the further into the game we get. Which I think I have to stay will be about halfway through, because I believe, hey look, it's Frank! Don't let Frank get you. Oh, I th I thought I could crash through that. I guess I guess I could not crash through that. Cool. Hey, Evidently, crashing through that is not an option. After today, we'll be halfway through. We're halfway through the game. Then after all, after this, we'll have what's left: Finding Nemo, Ratatouille, and The Incredibles. So, theoretically, it should be nothing. Oh wait, no, sorry, it's Finding Dory, not Finding Nemo. Right? My my brain auto-corrected it to the better movie. 
So, who knows what finding what we're gonna do in Finding Dory Land? That'll be interesting. Swimming. Oh God. Oh no. Oh, I hope it's not swimming mini games because I. That just gave me PTSD flashbacks to playing the Finding Nemo game as a kid. Let me know if you've played the Finding Nemo game at any point in your life, because I have, and I wish I didn't. I, I I say this as someone who has a sort of nostalgic sense of playing that game as a kid. However, it's terrible. It's an awful game. It's a nightmare to play, and I don't recommend anybody ever coming within a 5 mile, a 10 mile radius of it. To be honest with you, it's uh, utterly abysmal, and mainly because the swimming controls almost don't even work properly. So if the Finding Dory segment in this game is anything like that, we might be in for one hell of a ride. But let's let's just hope that's not the case. Let's let's hope. Also, how long is this? I feel like this track's been going on for way way too long. Then we could have cut this short. Could have could have cut, cut this a lot shorter. Than we did, unless I'm doing something wrong. But it, it seems it seems like I'm just supposed, okay. Didn't want to. Uh, no, that was part of the plan. It, it, it is very nice that Mater helpfully slows down whenever I get hit or go veer even slightly off course to allow me to catch up. That is, that's very nice. Also, that's the wheel well. That that sure as hell ain't how you get to the wheel well in uh, in the movie. You were awesome, buddy. Mater's right. That was some of the best driving I've ever seen. Really? You were going to be a great addition to my team. Do you like the part where I spun out twice in three seconds? Oh! Whole time, that was a most impressive display. This is Holly. She's my girlfriend. Our friend here would make an excellent racer, but an even better spy. And we have a mission that's perfect for your speed and talents. That is, if Lightning doesn't mind waiting. Of course he can wait. Can't you, Lightning? Well... Who am I to interfere with British intelligence? Actually acknowledging the existence of Cars 2 in this franchise? Whoa! Didn't see that one coming! Alright. I'll actually give some points for that. That level was way too long. You could've cut that in half easily. But, it, it actually pay, pay, paying homage to the fact that Cars 2 was a movie that existed, as crap as it is, they didn't just say, they didn't just say, don't think about it, that never happened. They actually are acknowledging it and trying to make something of it. Man, hope there aren't any other Cars-related pieces of media that did that video coming soon. Stay tuned. Anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, quit the park. Yeah. I know you was going to impress Grace, everybody, everybody, but this is better than Axel Grease with transmission fluid on top. I'm proud of you, buddy. That was more fun than a barrel of greasy lug nuts. I'll play cars with you anytime. Just come and find me. Wait, what? So you feel like pretending something new? Cause I hear some kids got a great idea for you. So you'll have to correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe I read it incorrectly. But did I not just get an achievement that said win your first bronze medal alone or with a friend? How did I do that if it just told me that I got a silver medal for- You know something? I don't think the achievements work all that well in this game, gotta be honest. Well, either way, it's time to head to... Bomb Squad! These bafflingly long load times. Wait! Okay. I'm, I'm gonna have to ch I'm gonna have to look closely. So, the loading screen there, or the loading ring there, ended right as the kid walked up, or ran into the, uh, into the frame. Is, is the circle not actually that it's loading the level, but that it's just waiting until one of the NPCs runs their ass over here? Because that's dumb as shit if that's what's actually happening there, but I'm not gonna... Uh, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna pay attention to the rest of the levels and see if that happens for all of them. That's consistent for all of them. Hmm, don't know about that one. I hear you're quite the cars enthusiast. Fancy another go around, eh? Brilliant. I shall play Holy Shiftwell, British Intelligence. And our mission takes us... To Tokyo. Where someone has planted a bomb somewhere on the course of the Tokyo Grand Prix. I have a bomb detector. 
and you're carrying a new device that can disarm the bomb. But it only works at very short range. So you and I have to sweep the course, find the bomb, and get close enough to deactivate it before it explodes. That's the signal. It must be somewhere near. You couldn't have picked a different color for the for that. The signal blended into the map. Francesco, he's carrying the bomb, and he doesn't even know. Of course he is. McQueen, you don't get it. I'm the bomb. Yes, Mater, you are the bomb, and you'll always be the bomb. Cars two is so shit. I, sh I should I should clarify my earlier statement. The, the fact that I'm happy to see Cars 2 get acknowledged doesn't mean I think Cars 2 is a good movie, because it's not. It's actually quite crap. Not the worst of Pixar's catalog, despite what the rest of the world wants you to believe. But it's still not very good at all. None of it makes any sense. So, the I want to make that clear. The reason why I'm happy that it, it, they're acknowledging his existence is because, just generally speaking, narrative, narrative, narrative consistency is something that I value a lot. I don't know if you could tell. And I, I much prefer, I much prefer when, uh, when movies, when, when stories in general, e even if the predecessor is utter garbage, they actually make an effort to try to work with it somehow. Even if it's just, just like, for instance, Halo Infinite is, is a game that knows it has to get away from the awful story that is Halo 5, but also knows that it can't just snap its fingers and say, Hey, Halo 5 didn't even happen, did it? So it, it makes an effort to, to strike a balance where it, it, it resolves the conflict of Halo 5, but doesn't make it the focus of the narrative so that it can please both 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 audiences and and, resol and keep both stories relevant without over having one overshadow the other and without lingering too long in the past, the horrible past, and without just not paying any attention to it at all. So, I appreciate that. Where I don't appreciate it so much is in games like Dual Destinies, where while I like the fact that it that they Capcom acknowledged how badly they screwed up with Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. By the way, this is I think this is the first time in a while that I've been consciously verbally talking about Ace Attorney, at least on the channel. It's feels nice to to revisit that that time on the channel. But the point point being, I like the fact that they returned back to dual death or they returned back to the characters being who they're supposed to be instead of the assassinated piles of crap they were in Apollo Justice. However, the speed at which they arrive at that is not good at all. They, they in that game, they literally do just snap their fingers and say, "I'll, I'll's well that ends well, I guess." It's just completely back to normal. So, yeah, it, uh, basically, the long story short, TLDR: even if you're, even if you're pre the predecessor of a story or of a series is crap, that doesn't give you free reign to ignore it entirely in the sequel. You, you should make a concerted effort to work with it as best you can, even when you know you have to get away from it as fast as possible. That's my advice. That, that That's my, that's what I, where I stand on the idea of progressing, st progressing a, a, a sequel past the troubled history of the franchise. And these, I, I guess, wow, did you see that? Okay. Wow, that is, that is crap. All right, so, when I turned around the corner, the, the other cars just legitimately stopped dead in my tracks. Remember in Lost Level 1, I kind of memed about how Mater just didn't... Mater kindly slowed down so we could... I think I made it in that, but alright. So that he would let me catch up. Actually, you know what? Let me stop completely. Wow, that... They they actually do just stop completely. <laughs> I mean, I, I get... Again, I get it. It's play pretend. It's not actually happening, so I'm not gonna harp on it that much. But... Like, it, that is, look at that. I, I, I could just sit here all day if I wanted to, and, and the level will literally just stop completely for me. That's, that's kind of funny. Come on. Come on. That, that is. Also, this new voice actor for Francesca was crap. Total, no I think I pressed A there, but all right. Total non sequitur, but. I see it. No, Holly, you've we've been you've been much closer to him earlier in this race. What? What do you want with Francesco? We had no choice. Someone sabotaged you with an explosive device, but you're safe now. Ridiculous! 
Francesco is not so easily fooled. You are trying to get into my head, friends of Lightning McQueen, but it will never work. I don't know why not. It sounds like there's plenty of room in there. No. Oh. I'll get our technicians to work analyzing this device immediately. As for you, you did your job brilliantly. No one ever even suspected a crisis. Well, that's because Francesca's an idiot. And also because you kindly stopped every time I stopped so that I'd be able to finish the mission. I, I really have gotten a silver medal in every one of these levels, despite what the game wants me to believe, that I got a bronze medal last time. It seems that I did not actually receive a bronze medal. I don't know what you gotta do to get a gold. Quit to park. So pleased to hear of your success. Well done. Let me know if you're ever game for more adventures in the spy car trade. Cheers to then. See, like, it, it loads. Would be so much fun. Being a car would be lovely too. Being a spy car? Oh, can you even imagine? You know, I, I gotta be honest. I don't actually think being a car would be all that great. I feel like your mobility would be severely limited. Up for a new challenge? I hear someone's come up with a lovely new idea for you. Actually, a lot of things would be very limited by being a car. The Cars universe can never work. There's no way a, a world full of cars could have ever constructed anything, anything sophisticated. But that's a topic for a different day. Anyway, that's what I mean. See how quickly we loaded out of the level there? It, it, it really does seem like the only reason why it takes so long to load is because I have to wait for someone to run to my... Well, I guess we'll try it again here. Let's Let's see. Let, let's see. Is someone going to run on screen? Okay. Never mind. I thought I thought I thought the loading screen was literally just that it, they had to they had to wait for an NPC to catch up to you, but it's not that's not the case. But then I just then I just question why the loading times are so long anyway. Because again, it's the Series X. It's lightning fast load times for every other game. I don't know. Weird. I hear you love playing cars as much as I do. Let's cut to the chase. Remember that bomb somebody stuck on Francesco? Well, now there's a whole convoy of trucks full of those bombs traveling through Porto Corsa. Finn McMissile, British intelligence. Terminator, average intelligence. Convoy, we can suss out who's behind those bombs. Discretion is vital. We'll keep a low profile and see how close we can get. New voice actor for Finn is also crap. They got Larry the Cable Guy back from Mater, and they got... Uh, I forget her last name, but Emily something? I, I don't I don't I, I feel bad for forgetting her name, but it's, it's Emily something. The voice of Holly. I'm pretty sure that's, that sounds exactly like her in the movie. And they did, I don't think they got Owen Wilson back for Lightning McQueen, but they got someone who sounds a lot like him. And then with Finn, with, 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 words are hard. With Finn McMissile and Francesco Bernoulli, not so much. They did not get as lucky. Man, it is so weird to see the cars just grind to a halt the second I, I decrease my momentum to even the slightest degree. That is, that is bizarre to watch. But hey, it makes it, makes it easy for me, so... Who am I to complain? You know what? Since here, I'm, I'm gonna try driving with one hand, and I'm gonna look up her name on IMDb with my other hand. D don't try this at home, kids. Don't actually text and drive. That's a great way to get just a fantastic way to get people killed. Never do that in the real world. But in a video game where everything around me stops, the the world bends to my will, and no one's in danger because the second I stop, everything else stops. I think I'm pretty safe to look up. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Let's see, who... Emily Mortimer. Okay, that's that's the name of the person who voices Holly Shiftwell. Emily Mortimer. There we go. I feel like I should have fallen off there, but I'm I'm glad I didn't. That's the name that I forgot. I, I knew... I got the first name, I just forgot the second name. This is the second name. Last name. F -f -f call it a second name. Alright. I wonder if I just stayed right down the middle of this course, if if any of those rocks would hit me, because it seems like they all... Okay, well, that one probably would have hit me. But all the other ones, they seem to just be safely falling along the left and right sides of the road. Completely out of... out of range... out of my range. I, I do also wonder how we actually end up catching up to this thing, since we appear to be... Excuse me, sorry, we appear to be moving at pretty much the same speed for the whole time. 
and then right at the end we just magically catch up to him but hey i guess one positive spin on this is that because we're cars it means we won't have to deal with one of the stupid stop and throw a million gajillion things at the enemy to defeat him because we can't really do that as a car so that's excuse me sorry i did i guess in a case of the hiccups that's not great timing for when you're recording a video so it's a one-time occurrence but yeah it's uh glad we don't have to do that while we're playing as cars that's uh greatly appreciated we will be right back to it next time with all oh, although maybe not I'm, I'm more the more i think about it the more curious i become as to what finding door is going to look like gameplay wise and the more nervous i get that it's going to look like the finding nemo video game but let's let's well, i don't let's have it not be like the finding nemo video game that'd be fantastic that'd really be great honestly but i suppose let's wait and see and i'm kind of talking over but honestly for as much as we can joke about how stop i can stop and the whole world will stop this is pretty fun it's a nice as the name implies it's a nice adrenaline rush just constant fast-paced action a chase through epic international locations i this, this was fun it honestly might be my favorite world because first there's obviously much of a personal attachment I have to the Toy Story. I don't know that I'd say it's my favorite world in this game, because both Toy Story and Up were bogged down by the by those slow paced puzzle sections. I, I think I've come I think I've uh that <laughs> no. I, I think I've yeah, just stand there and let me crash into you, why don't you? Uh no no well, I, I guess it's nice to see that they've kept the insanity intact from Cars too. Very faithful adaptation this is. No thanks to you, make me sad. No thanks required, mate. All in a day's work. I think I've concluded that I just don't like the puzzle sections from the original, from the last two worlds. Really, really mess with the pacing, and they're not complicated enough to justify, justify stopping it, stopping the the flow of. The chase sequences so yeah i that honestly might be my new favorite world oh good boost yeah that would have been helpful oh i see all in all is an ability we can unlock sure that, that I, i've heard that worked out great for all the racers who use put that in their tanks i can't wait to try it out for myself but that's that i suppose very impressive that's indeed. indeed that's the sort of performance that earns medals and knighthoods if you follow my meat, it's been a privilege working with you. Hope we can do it again sometime. You know how to find me. Are we going to have a perfect silver run? I feel like we're going to have a perfect silver run. Nice. You met all three of the biggest Cars fans. Awesome. Those guys are really imaginative. So keep checking in with them. They're always coming up with new ideas and things. Yeah, I think that was my favorite world. I honestly, Toy, Toy Story World was, was was fun and all, but some parts of it, like I, I don't think anything has quite reached the heights of the climactic chase at the airport level where you're jumping out of the plane. Uh, and the very nature of the the Sunnyside Daycare one was cool too, but I don't know. I feel like we have to judge the worlds overall. The consistent consistent pace of cars probably wins out for now. And now tomorrow we're gonna head over to that that text really does just blend in with the tank there to to finding Dory World and see see what that means for us. So those are some fast fish, is what those are. All right, that'll be it for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time. And hope to catch you all tomorrow for some more Rush at Disney Pixar Adventure. Goodbye.